All right, we are at one of the national parks and you're getting ready to see, well, it's the Grand Canyon. It's behind me and we can't wait to show it to you. But first, we got to get here. Let's go back and take a look at how we got here. And if you would hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share if you would and join us on the journey. Earlier this morning, we left the Airbnb that we were staying in in Williams, Arizona and headed to see the south rim of the Grand Canyon. The trip is 60 miles, should take us about an hour to get there. By the magic of creative editing, you only have a few seconds before we get there together. In 1903, President Theodore Roosevelt visited this area three years before he designated it a game preserve. Two years later, in 1908, he proclaimed it a national monument. But it would not be until 1919 that Congress designated it a national park, and President Woodrow Wilson signed it into law. When Roosevelt visited the canyon in 1903, he commented, The Grand Canyon fills me with awe. It is beyond comparison, beyond description, absolutely unparalleled throughout the wide world. Let this great wonder of nature remain as it now is. Do nothing to mar its grandeur, sublimity, and loveliness. You cannot improve on it, but you can keep it for your children, for your children's children, and for all who come after you as the one great sight which every American should see.
it's deep man it's really deep hard to understand it's so deep Something that's really neat when you come to a national park like this is you hear many different languages. People from all over the world who come here to see some of the best, some of the most beautiful things in the USA. In 1979, the canyon was designated a World Heritage Site. We visited the South Rim. The two main entrances to the park are the North Rim and the South Rim. The South Rim, though, sees about 90% of the visitation to the park. Carved by the mighty Colorado River, visible now far below. Renee had visited the Grand Canyon when she was a teenager. I had never seen it before. What I think I enjoyed most about the experience was the quietness. Sure, there were the sounds of nature and of people experiencing this amazing park. But there were no radios, no aircraft, no loud speaker announcements, just the peaceful experience of exploring one of the most spectacular sites in America. You know, I was just thinking uh, as we were driving in, you know, and you saw the video as we were driving in, just flat land, little rolling hills here and there, a mountain you can see in the distance. Can you imagine the early Indians? You know, some great grandfather telling his grandson, Come with me. You gotta see this. You're not gonna believe it. There's a big hole in the ground up here that is, it's huge, it's amazing. And the kid is saying, nah, there's no <laughs> hole in the ground. Look around, Grandpa, it's all flat. He got a surprise, didn't he? <laughs> The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder was so much better simply because you experienced it with us and we appreciate that 
We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Hit the like button and share. Don't forget we have another channel called Take a Breath. It's a place to go for relaxation. If you would, please check it out and subscribe. I'll drop a link to that channel in the more section beneath this episode's title. We hope that you enjoy our content and have a great week.